Hello everyone, welcome to PyLearning. In today's video, we are going to talk about instance attributes in object-oriented programming. Now we already talked about class attributes in my previous video. So if you haven't checked out that video, click on this i link or check out the link in the description below. Go through that video and then come back here because that way you will understand class attributes versus instance attributes in a much better way and you can make a valid comparison. So how are class attributes different from an instance attribute? See, here's the thing. Class attributes are characteristics that are shared by every object coming out of the class. So every time you create an instance of the class, the class attribute is going to be same for all the instances. If you change the class attribute of a class, the class attribute for all the instances will change. We will see this during our programming session, but let's now just talk about it. Unlike class attributes, which are same for all the instances of the class, instance attributes are specific to one object of the class. Let me give you a valid example. Let's go back to our car class that we were discussing earlier. So, every car coming out of that car class is going to be a four-wheeler, right? Every car is going to have four wheels. So, we can say that this characteristic of having four wheels is a class attribute because every object is going to share the same characteristic. However, every car coming out of the class can have different colors. One car can be red, one can be maroon, one can be black, one can be blue. So the attribute color is specific to one object of the class. So basically that color is an instance attribute. So this is how you basically make the difference between class attribute and instance attribute. So every time you are designing a class, Think about the attributes. Should it be a class attribute or should it be an instance attribute? That way, your design of the class is going to be much better. Now, I want to also point out something else. When you are writing classes in Python or when you are doing object-oriented programming in Python, you will come across another word called as self. Right? Have you ever thought what this self is? Now, if you Google about self, there are a lot of articles out there that give the wrong message. A lot of articles say self is a keyword. Here's the thing. When we talk about keywords in Python, we are talking about keywords that are reserved, right? Like for example, if or for or else or with, things like that. Self is not a reserved keyword in Python. Self is merely a convention. Yes, right. Convention. In other words, self is basically a reference to the current instance of the class and it's not a reserve keyword it's a convention for example you can replace self with your name like i can replace self with lenin and i i can call my attributes and methods like lenin.color or lenin.wheel types and it will still work so remember this self is not a reserve keyword so let's write a simple car class using some instance attribute okay so first, here under the class car, after you have written it, we first need to write the class attributes because that usually goes after you have mentioned the class statement. So we know that number of wheels is the class attribute. So I can say wheels equal to four. And this is our class attribute. Now all our instance attributes go inside the init method. So I can say define init and then here I can say self dot color and either I have a choice to pass in a value here like red. In that case, all the objects that are coming out of this car will have the color equal to red, right? But we don't want that. We want color to be specific to every object of the class. So here I can say pass in the variable uh, or argument color and then I'm going to pass it here as well. So every time I create a class, I have to pass in the color value so that every object will have its own individual color. And now let's also do something print init is being executed. Right? I will show you why I'm doing this. Let's get out of the class and here let's create an instance. So I can say C1 is equal to car and then let's pass in the a color so let's say red and then also let's create another instance and call it c2 and i will pass in car with a color of blue okay so now 
let's go ahead and run this let's not do anything more so here when I run this you see when we create this instances the init this line is being printed out which means every time you create an instance of the class the init method gets executed first so remember this the init whatever um, instance attributes you have or whatever uh, uh, statements you have will get executed as soon as you create an instance of the class okay so now let's go ahead and play around with these uh, instances that we have created so i can say print c1 dot wheels and i can also go ahead and say print c2 dot wheels and then i can say print c1 dot color and then i can go ahead and say print c2 dot color so let's go ahead and run this so if i run this you will see c1 wheels uh, attribute is four for both of them because it is a class attribute but each one of them have their own colors so c1 is red c2 is blue now what if i want to change the class attribute here so basically wheels equal to four i want to say now the wheels is equal to three of course you can go ahead and change it like this but there's no fun in that and we won't learn anything so what i'll do here is after the class instances have been created here i'm gonna go and say car dot wheels remember don't do c1 dot wheels i mean if, if you do c1 dot wheels you will only change the wheels variable or attribute for c1 so you have to mention the proper class name car dot wheels is equal to 3 and so now let's go ahead and print this and then you will see c1 dot wheels becomes 3 so every time you change the class attribute the values for every instance of the class changes but because color is an instance attribute they still say this stay the same all right now what happens if i just do c1 dot wheels now if i run this you will see only the c1 dot wheels attribute changes it's three now but c2 dot wheels is still the same so remember this every time you want to change an attribute for all the instances you have to access it through the class itself now let's go ahead and talk about this self like i mentioned it's not a reserved keyword it's merely a convention all right so let's say i'm not interested in using the word self i'm interested in using lenin so here if i replace it there i have to call it lenin as well so now if you see let's go ahead and run this you see this still runs you know there is a uh, the program doesn't have an error uh, it still runs fine so remember self is not really a reserved keyword it's merely a convention and i also encourage you to keep using self and not use some other name otherwise a convention breaks and then if you're working in a team this will become really difficult for other developers to understand your code now i want to talk about two other things one is vars and one is dict see the thing is this class is very small so you can easily look here and say okay these are the instance attributes but what if you're working with a class which is huge or maybe you are uh, using a library python library and you just want to see what are the instance attributes in the python library all right so for that purpose you can use these two methods so i can say print vars and then you can pass in the class instance here it is c1 also let's go ahead and print c1 dot dict all right so now if we run this here we can see the instance attribute so you see all the instances that are present uh, all the instance attributes that are present you can access them through these vars and the dict method so remember this is uh, it can be really useful for you while programming so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something about instance attributes in the next video, we are going to learn about instance methods. So uh, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time.